Good day, friends. We are in Proverbs chapter 6. We're dealing with the seven things that God hates. In fact, it says that he hates it and they are detestable to the Lord. So uh, we're now on number six. God hates. God finds it detestable. It is something that he totally dislikes when a false, a false witness who pours out lies. Now, the British poet John Dryden once wrote, and he says, Truth is the foundation of all knowledge and the cement of all societies. God and his word is absolute truth. And that's why God wants us to be truthful, to not speak lies and not to bear false witness. So when we look at the word lying and bearing a false witness, initially we may think that they are exactly the same. They are similar, but not the same. Lying is when I speak untrue things, when I uh, twist the truth when I make a false statement, where a false witness is a little bit more formal maybe, is when I actually making a statement about somebody, a calculated statement, a statement that I fabricate maybe even, uh, that could be uh, thought through, and that is going to put somebody else in a bad light. It may ruin their reputation. Now, this happens in many, many shapes and forms. We make oaths uh, as, as people who um, commit ourselves to marriage, and we break those, and we make false testimony often in court uh, when we blame, when we falsely testify against our partners. Uh, it goes into business, into all kinds of areas in our lives. So it's basically uh, a bit more formal than lying, but it's a similar thing is when I prepare a false testimony, swearing that it is truth. Uh, and then I put a spin on the truth, maybe. Uh, and it is just a little bit different to what it should be. Uh, right down to actually just blatantly lying. So that is a false witness. So not only in courtroom, but in day-to-day -day living as well. Are you blatantly making false statements about somebody, twisting the truth or spinning the truth just a little bit even, so that that person is seen in a bad light? A false testimony is what God hates and detests. So I trust that we will not be involved in any of this. And if we do, that we would repent of it in Jesus' name. So Father, as you love truth, and as truth is basically the foundation and the cement of all societies, we pray that as believers we would turn and return to the truth. In Jesus' name, amen.